So on the first stop of our international tour, delivering completely free consultations to you guys in need, we are meeting up with a lady in desperate need of help with a completely out of control boxer to be able to get it under control and be a joy to live with. as a puppy, um, I suppose my partner was kind of more old school kind of trained, didn't want to crate train him, thought it was cruel. So we started training him like with sit and leave the usual stuff and he was responding really well, like, he easy to train, yeah. um, doing all that paw, sit down, yeah. really really good, listened from a very young age, was very good, mm -hmm. didn't bite as much, as great personality, would take food from her mouth and yeah. really gentle, mm -hmm. you could um, put your finger in his food and everything, make him wait for his food and really easy going character, not a bother on him. I got a trainer to help me and to help the two of us with mm -hmm. walking and pulling and harnesses and what collar, don't use a collar because boxers are too chest heavy, so harnesses and stuff. So I was using a harness on him. I've been through different harnesses, different types of lead, trying to mm. control him. I had him on a long lead then, but then I felt like he was getting too much freedom and he was just totally in a world of his own. Yeah. Like, I mean, completely in a world of his own. I mean, it was easier for me because I could let him off and along. Yeah, yeah. He just sniffs like mad. That's why I'm asking you, like, what's excessive and what's not? Because I think there's a happy balance and I feel he's too much. She can he go. Is. We need to make that very clear to him. Yeah. Time and a place. Yeah. And we'll use tools for that. That. So okay. whether we use a slip or depending on how that goes, we might move on to a prong collar. But whatever tool we use for heel walking, that is for walking. Yeah. You walk nicely. You're not pulling me, yeah. you're not lunging. Yeah. But when you go to a long line on your harness, cool, off you go. Yeah. That's definitely something I want you to take away from today's session yeah. and not dragging you all over the place. Yeah. What I said, making it very clear yeah. between when you're, if we use a slip lead, when we're using a slip lead, this is what this means. Yeah. No exceptions. Yeah. But right now we don't really want you off lead. Yeah. So then we go to your harness long line now that means you can run and make right. it very clear yeah. so that it's not a case of sometimes she makes me walk nicely yeah. when I've got this on but sometimes I can sniff and I don't really know yeah. I want to sniff so I'm going to risk it yeah. we just need to remove all yeah. that confusion so like when we broke up with my partner I did think about giving him up because I'm going through so much like with yeah. cancer treatments and everything mm -hmm. and I was like how am I going to manage looking after him and all my hospital like I was in the hospital mm -hmm. in the night I reacted really badly to one of my cancer medications mm -hmm. and I got jaundice for six months and everything yeah. so I was like how am I going to manage him but the, the positive was far outweigh any love of the that. negatives any uh, they always say you get the dog you need not the dog you want you love that. yeah Give yeah so yeah <laughs> you are awesome <laughs> <laughs> yes yes so as you can see even though this boxer is a comedy genius fun to be with as all boxers are it is completely out of control showing zero engagement to its owners wildly distracted by everything going on which is leading to intense pulling lunging and jumping behaviors which is making walking him and giving him the exercise that he desperately needs an absolute nightmare and that isn't stemming from a lack of training the owner is a wonderful owner who has done lots of positive based food style training systems but the reason that this dog is struggling so much is because there are no consequences on the other end of the spectrum he knows what the owner wants him to do he's just making a decision that everything else around him is far more interesting than she is so we need to be able to come in instill some leadership build a better relationship and let the dog no, hey, I need you to pay attention. I need you to focus. I need you to follow my guidance because I need to keep you con under control. I need to keep you safe so that we together can enjoy a wonderful life. Definitely a bit better. Yeah. But I definitely think with the time that we have, no, seeing how nose driven and sight driven he is, yeah. I think we should swap straight to a prong yeah. and get the most amount of time with it. Yeah. it with a slip, he's, he's going to have that pressure on lots. And because a slip contracts singularly, it's almost kind of choking. Yeah. Whereas yeah. with a prong, because it distributes it quite evenly, yeah. it's more, it is just that sensation. So you can see that they're actually very rounded. Yeah. So they're not designed at all to go in. Yeah. They're simply designed just to distribute pressure, but rather than a rope, which like I say, doesn't have any kind of effect yeah. to it whereas yeah. they give you a little bit of just yeah just a bit more um, and it's the way they and again if you've seen if he plays rough they play with their mouths yeah yeah they're constantly touching each other with their teeth yes yeah yeah it's, it mimics that kind right, of behavior okay, okay. so yeah, you see he's kind of checking it out like oh what's that feeling yeah 
and already he's learning that coming back to me is what turns that feeling off. Yeah. And I imagine this would be a happier walking experience for you. Yeah, yeah. So now we're in the principle now of really simple. If you give me the behaviours that we want, we can reward you and praise yeah. you. Yeah. So those behaviours are going to happen more frequently. Yeah. If you give us a behaviour that we don't want because we love you and we can't have you jumping up people yeah. anymore, mate. Yeah. We can't have you pulling me down the road. I'm just going to let you know, tiny bit, just, hey, stop doing that yeah. for me, mate. Yeah. And then this is yeah. the dog that you're left with. Yeah. Again, look yeah. at the difference from the dog we had 10 minutes yeah. ago. Yeah. Calm, well-mannered, and just be by my side. Yeah. And if that's the case, I'm going to keep this loose. Yeah. Now, if you go that way, yeah. I'm going to pop, pop this way. Yeah. So essentially, I'm just going this way. Yeah. If you go that way, it's just this way. Yeah. Essentially, we're creating a magic, wonderful green circle here. Yeah. yeah. A green circle of loose leadness. Yeah. Yeah. So he'll quickly understand if you go out of that green circle, I'm just going to bring you back into it. Yeah. And whichever way you go out of it, I'm going to bring you back into it in the yeah. opposite direction. Okay. But yeah. if you stay in this circle, we're happy. Yeah. What you want to do is kind of probably have it around there. Yeah, yeah. Because I want this yeah. to be loose. Okay. Loosey goosey. Yeah, yeah. Relax. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. So if he gets so pop that to your right, there you go. Good boy. So left arm looser. Relax your right arm as well. Just nice. That's it. Lovely. Good boy. Now I want you to turn and come towards me. Come on, Reggie. Good boy. Well, come now straight on. to me. Don't no. So when you turn, yeah. when you make the decision, I just want you just to go. Just do it. This is your walk, not yeah. his. Yeah. He's, he's with you on your walk. Yeah. At the minute, you're treating it like you're along for the ride for <laughs> his walk. Yeah. You're kind of pulling a little bit. Okay. I just want it just to be, just with your left hand. Yeah. Again, just a flick of your wrist. Okay. So when you're ready, just start walking towards yep. me. So uh, there, pop, uh, pop. So keep walking, yep. but just pop it back in. Okay. Good. Boy, Reggie. Nice. Now a directional change and go. Okay, when you're ready, go. just go. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Good. And again and back to me and come, come straight to me. Come I want you to, if you can, just to turn on a dime. Don't swing. Okay. Just literally just turn, turn and go right okay. now. Just go. Okay. Come. Go. Let's go. That's it. Re that was that was the one. That's what I wanted Let's go. to see. Good boy. Look at the difference now. Come on. Same again. Let's go. Just come straight to me. Lovely. Not pulling on, there's no tension. Yeah. I can hold it loose, like, yeah. Like, I saw you in your videos walking, I was like, oh my God, seriously, like, yeah. you know, loose, it's like, it has to be loose. I know you need yes. to follow me on my walks. I'm walking tall, worded. straight, not even looking down, and I have my hand here, and you he knew I was there, and he was yeah. responding so much better to that. Amazing. For the consultations on our world tour, we only have 60 to 90 minutes at most to be able to offer as much help as possible. So we quickly built some engagement. We quickly tuned up those behaviors, but it doesn't matter whether we can do it in an open field when the distractions are low, this owner needs to be able to do it under the most high distractions. And I asked the owner, what is the highest of distractions? And she said, in a dog park, he loses his mind, engagement goes out the window, and all he wants to do is play. So, that's exactly where we're going. When we're going to go through thresholds from now on, you're going to walk up to the threshold and you're going to ask for a sit. Okay. If he doesn't, the pressure's going to go up and if you need to, with your other hand, you can just pop it on his bum. Okay. The pressure doesn't turn off until he sits. Okay. As soon as he sits, Let it go. loose. Okay. And he's going to want to barge in. Yeah. Yeah. You just pop him back yeah. and you put him back into a sit. Okay. And the gate's wide open and he's waiting patiently yeah. when you're ready. You then go through the threshold. Okay. Rather than him having that mentality of darting through anywhere Just that he wants to go. Pulling me, when he yeah, wants to go. absolutely. Yeah, he's a devil for doing this. This is your walk. Yeah. yeah. And you are being so loving and kind that you're letting, letting him into him in. his favourite place. Yeah. And then ask him first for a sit. Sit. So now, yeah, lovely. Good so boy. no pressure needed. Yeah. So yeah. Now open the gate. And if you try now, so pop no, that back. No. Good. Now loose. Just swing it right wide open. Wait. Really nice. Wait. And when you're ready, I want you to walk through, but he's probably gonna try and dart. Yep. So as he does, just pop, pop it back it in. Back. Okay. And you want to, ah. yeah, really nice. Sit. Good, beautiful, really good. Boy. Good. good boy, good boy. Wait, let's go. Good boy. So now I want to let him go off the plate, yep. take his lead off, yep. and I just go, break. Yeah. 
and off you go. Yeah. Go and play and be a dog. Yeah. So not being cruel, or that you, you can never do this ever again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on place. my terms. Like yeah. yeah, that's what I wanted from because it just is on his terms. And I was like, no, you know. Yeah. So I want you to be in the moment and look what's happening right now. Yeah. We're in the middle of a dog park. Yeah. We're four off lead dogs yeah. chasing balls. Yeah. And he's in a sit and stay yeah. by our side yeah. while we're having a conversation. Yeah. Vocabulary is important. What I want what you have okay that's what that's the yeah. dog you have yeah. right now yeah this is proving it yeah again it's not nothing to do with me you're doing this it's not because oh that big scary man stood next to me yeah so in just over an hour we were able to take a completely out of control dog to a wonderfully under control dog who is now a joy to walk with it has turned the chore of her day in terms of giving him some exercise into what can now be the joy of their day of going out together where they're under control she can relax she's not having her arm pulled out of her socket and it'd be a miserable experience and that all stems from introducing some simple rules boundaries and expectations all of things that you can do at home with your dog so if you did enjoy this video please give it a like subscribe if you're new and if you're interested in getting yourself a free consultation as part of my international tour make sure you come and follow me over on instagram because that's where all the information is and if you want to know how we're able to offer all those services for free that's because of the incredible work my team does over at Fenrir so if you're interested in seeing more about the wonderful world leading products and services we offer there go and check them out as well all will be linked in the description but I'll see you on the next video